All right, guys, let's talk about the thinnest knife in my collection and what I feel like I, I got my Hogue Deca like a couple months ago, I think three months ago now. And I was like, this is my new like ultra lightweight workout slash trail running slash like athletic knife, but this TRM Neutron has basically uprooted the DECA. Now, in all seriousness, I do really like my DECA, and I will say the DECA and the Benchmade Bug Out, while slightly thicker than the TRM Neutron, is the TRM Neutron is slightly heavier, and that's because this does use full metal like line full metal liners on top of plastic handles. So, or I should say G10 technically. So when you look at something like this DECA, you'll see that there really isn't any like steel in here at all. It's really hard to show out on camera, but there is some steel of course around the axis lock portion. But when you move back to the back side of this handle, like inside of here, it is all not only plastic, but it's like plastic with a lattice type structure so that it's even more lightweight. So the lattice structure is just there for rigidity. And so this is like a super, super lightweight blade, right? It's meant to compete with the bug out, which uses a very similar construction and design. And so this guy is a little bit more traditional. It is a technical liner lock and it has those full metal liners. In fact, moreover, though, these are pretty thin metal liners, but they are not even um, like milled out for the sake of like weight savings. So you do feel this knife a little bit more. However, that being said, this thing is still like a sub three ounce knife and I really do not mind um, the weight of this knife. I think that honestly for its thickness, for its size, it feels really good in hand. And honestly, that's one thing that, and I will say I'm not the largest fan of like ultra lightweight knives to begin with, but I do really like a knife that is well balanced. And so sometimes when you get things like a Benchmade bug out that is so focused on being ultra light, oops, as I drop it, uh, <laughs> it's so focused on being ultra light that um, with this like it feels very blade heavy, right? Whereas something like this TRM Neutron feels extremely balanced. Like the balance point is right toward the center. So you really don't feel like this thing, I guess ultimately like it's heavier than it feels because it feels very well balanced is the best way to put it. Now that being said, one really big pro to all of these kind of ultra light, ultra thin knives, whether it's a bug out, whether it's a DECA, like one of the reasons why things like the bug out are so utterly popular with most uh, EDC people is because they slice very well. This is ultimately the secret sauce to like why everyone loves Spyderco is because Spyderco by and large outside of certain models like the Shaman, uh, like your things like your Manix, your PM2, your Para 3, um, Delica 4, Andela, Endura, you know, all of those knives are super, super slicey because they are full flat ground knives that are designed to just slice through things. And so ultimately a lot of people end up loving them because they perform very well because they should perform very well, right? Because if you don't have a very thick blade stock and you have a very nice full flat grind, you're going to have something that passes reasonably effortlessly through just about anything you cut through. So this the TRM Neutron is no exception. It is the same way. It is a very thin, it's not quite like proper full flat grind, but it definitely is essentially a full flat grind that comes down to a very, very, very thin edge. And I do definitely love that. Uh, once again, it is super, super slicey. Now I will say I picked this one up on the secondary market and the person who owned it before me put a very nice mirror polish edge, which I appreciate on this, as you guys can probably tell, because if it catches the light just right, you'll see that uh, little glint of the bevel, but it is extremely slicey. In fact, this guy actually bit me because I was not anticipating it to be as drop shut as it is. As you can see, a little hesitant because it will bite you if you're not exactly careful, but this thing is very, very smooth and very sharp. So super, super slicey. It bites into things so well. I think unofficially, if I go to like any blade shows, this is going to be the knife in my pocket because invariably, seems that people are loving those paper cut tests and while part of paper cut tests is like your technique also having something that is ultra slicey like this is a part of the 
is a part of it as well. So anyways, as far as TRM goes, I have specifically done videos talking about why I love this brand. If you guys don't know TRM, um, I really have to say first off, thanks to the subscribers who recommended because I got a lot of comments of everyone saying like, oh, have you picked up a TRM Atom yet? Or when are you going to pick up a TRM Atom? You know, people kept telling me like, go get a TRM. And unfortunately, when I was trying to get a TRM Atom, I was not able to find one. I looked high and low both on the primary and secondary markets and I was not able to find one but I did come across this Neutron and honestly like for what it is the TRM Atom and Neutron are very very similar knives not to say that they're the exact same they are different but they share a lot of similarities including their sliciness um, and their price point is reasonably similar as well so anyways the uh I ended up going with the Neutron because that's primarily what I could find, but these guys are really cool. I definitely would recommend checking out the brand, trying to find uh, these knives just in general. They're really great. And I think most of all, what I love probably about the most of TRM is the fact that a lot of their knives are very reasonably priced, especially on the secondary market. Once again, with the little asterisk of so long as you can find them. They're not super easy to find primarily because they're more affordable price means that they go very quickly. But anyways, that is my TRM Neutron. And uh, this guy, the one that, or I bought this, the person I bought this from sent me uh, several sets of handles for this. So I might end up changing or swapping out the handles. But to be honest, I actually really dig this black and orange. If you guys can't already tell, I am a fan of that style with my cutlery shop edition of my paramilitary two, that is orange on the same side and green. So a little bit different, a little bit spicy, but uh, I do really like the green and orange and I really do like the black and orange. I think the black and orange really pop because they're such contrasting colors, though this green and orange paramilitary too is very cool as well. So anyways, that is the TRM Neutron. It's the thinnest knife and it might arguably be the one that I am going to be carrying when working out, when doing trail running, when I need something that's super super thin, super slicey. When I like to do my like 5Ks and other different fun kind of runs, I usually will carry something like a good EDC knife, right? And so something like this TRM is going to be likely in my pocket. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, definitely check out TRM with their Atom or their Neutron. They are really cool knives. As always, guys, God bless and I'm out.